Praise the Lord. We welcome you all to our live broadcast today. October 16, 2022. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father and our God, we have come again before your throne of mercy that you may speak to us. Touch us, Lord, through your word. Help us, Lord, to be doers and not bystanders. Help us to contend for the gospel of Christ, wherever we are. Help us to be serious in this season of anomaly. Lead us away from every temptation, my Father, my God. Open our eyes to this series, understanding who our enemies are, in order that we can help preach the gospel to so many in bondage. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon all who are hearing and who we hear or watch or listen in Jesus' name. We give you all the praise and honor of dear Father in heaven. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. The instrumental is taken from our brother Caleb Brass here on YouTube. Blessings and honor to God for this young brother in Jesus' name. The Battle for the Souls of Humans. It's a spiritual warfare series, but actually the, it's the battle for the souls of women. If you have to go into that battle, you have to be prepared. You can't just battle like that. The outline for this series. The first week we spoke on most believers don't know who they are. Then the second week we spoke on the kingdom of darkness is well organized. Last Sunday we spoke that evil spirits are humanity's real enemies, not human beings. Today, we're going to speak, only you can beat yourself in this fight. Which means only I can beat myself to this fight. You must repeat that to yourself wherever you are. Only you can beat yourself in this fight. Next Sunday, by God's grace, unless we make some changes, we'll see how the kingdom of God on earth, that's those who are believed should be fighting the kingdom of darkness. You can't do that except you are well prepared, which is what we are talking about today. If you don't beat yourself, that means you are in the fight and then you can contend next Sunday. And we'll continue as you see on the board. We may make adjustments. Today's topic, only you can beat yourself in this fight. The outline. You have everything to come out ahead of this fight. I have everything to come out ahead of this fight. Two. Characteristics of those who will lose the fight. Slash. They fail to study the Bible. They fail to study the word of God. Three. Characteristics of those who will lose the fight. That those who welcome every wind of doctrine. For who are the victorious ones? Those who will come out ahead. And the song you started hearing at the beginning, Lead Me to the Cross. It's always at the cross where salvation is. You are called there, you remain there, you continue there till the day you meet him in eternity. It's not accidental, the Lord Jesus said. Want to follow me, take up your cross and follow me. You have everything to come out ahead of this fight, number one. Scripture, please. I read from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 12 to 18. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, Put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. 
Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Praise the Lord for His Word to us. I encourage you all to go back to Ephesians chapter 6 and read the whole Ephesians chapter 6, but especially the verses we have just read. We are not going to explicate on them, but they should be the primary verses for throughout this whole series. Children of God have everything to come out ahead of the battles with spiritual forces. Only they can beat themselves. Not the enemy. The enemy cannot beat you. Why? Because the battles we're engaging has already been won by our Lord and Savior. That's why. There is no standing on the sidelines in this battle. Many believers think they can stay on the sidelines and let others do the fight. Now you lose. Provided you walk in obedience to our Lord and Savior, we will definitely make it to the end. Because the battle has already been won. Scripture, please. I read from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 19 and 20. Don't you realize that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit indwells you and I for children of God. So how is it possible that you can lose this battle? When you have God, when you have the Holy Spirit indwelling you, only if you give room and the Holy Spirit lives from you, that's when the enemy can come and make a mess of your life or my life. That's verse 19 we read. Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself. You see, at the cross, you gave your life to Christ. So your life is no longer your own. The problem is many of us, after giving our lives to Christ, take back our lives. And so the enemy will come fight. Only those who have been dwelling Holy Spirit in them can fight this battle and make it to the end. Note that. It is impossible for spiritual forces, no matter the number, no matter the weapons they deploy, can defeat a child of God indwelled by the Holy Spirit. I say the whole of Satan and all his kingdom of darkness, even if they are against you, an individual, because you have been dwelling Holy Spirit, they cannot win. You move ahead. Praise the Lord. Amen. Scripture, please. 1 John chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. But you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won a victory over those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. Those people belong to this world, so they speak from the world's viewpoint. And the world listens to them. Praise the Lord, that is the problem. You belong to God according to this scripture, if you are a child of God. I belong to God according to this scripture. And he said, we've already won the victory over the evil forces. We have, according to the verse we just read. We have won the victory already because we didn't fight the battle. It's been fought for us. And because the Holy Spirit living in you and I is greater than everything, both the dark forces and the whole world. The problem is we don't understand that the world, which can be your parents, families, unbelieving, so long as unbelievers, they are with the enemy to pull you down, one way or the other. That's the problem. These people belong to this world. Those who they speak are according to the world. Their viewpoint will be according to the world, even when they show loving concern. If only you could just leave that thing you are believing in and follow us the way we are following your organized religion. You listen to them and then you fall. But you belong to God. Always remember, say to yourself, I belong to God. And the Spirit of God indwells me, and he that is in me is dead and everything on, in, on this earth. But the only catch is, don't listen to the world. Because the world can never speak anything that will advance your 
progress in this fight. Who we listen to, you and I, is who we believe. We have spoken on this subject a couple of months back. Therefore, anyone who claims to be a believer, not mark my words, but listen to so the world has stopped believing. Did you hear what I said? You say you're a believer, but you listen to the world. <laughs> you're not a believer. Because if the Holy Spirit truly indwells you a believer, you will never listen to the world. Because you understand that the world as is, all whether political, religious, commercial, everything, is under the influence and control of Satan. And those enemies you'll try to wrestle with. Those who truly believe listen only to the Holy Spirit. So who you listen to today is who you believe. And who you believe. If you believe the world and you believe Satan and his kingdom, you have for you can't be fighting him. Characteristics of those who lose the fight starts with failure to study the scriptures. Scripture, please. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the word of Christ. Praise the Lord. The enemy's first point of attack is to stop you from studying the scriptures. Yet, in the Bible is his word to you and I. Because in the Bible is the food of the spirit. So for your spirit and mind to grow, we must feed from God's word. That's what the scripture is saying. The more you hear the message of God in the scriptures, the more your faith is built up in Christ. The converse is also true. The less you study the Bible, the less you believe, the more you listen to the world. Only by studying the scriptures can your faith be continuously built up. That's what the verse says. Therefore, those believers who don't take Bible studies very seriously invariably lose their faith in God. And evil spirits are always on the prowl. Remember your enemy and my enemy, there are so many. They are organized looking for faithless believers. And they will strike. And when they strike, what can you and I do if we are faithless? Scripture, please. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Praise the Lord. A verse of scripture that has been so messed up by wicked men and women of the belly. Who are used it to talk about things that are not true. It is impossible to please God with your faith. Anyone who wants to come to God must believe that God exists. Where are you going to find it? In your scriptures. And that God rewards those who did sincerely seek Him. Not to give you cars and houses and wives and husbands. It's to enable you to walk and fight this fight of faith till you meet Him in glory. Praise the Lord. Faith in God grows cold when one stops studying the Bible. There can't be anything else. Because you want to hear from God every moment, every day. Not to any human being, but through what he has already said to, sent to his prophets. And above all, to the Lord Jesus Christ. Those believers who don't take Bible studies seriously. Who want to hear it from, quote, pastors, GOs, prophets. You cannot please God. You lack faith. If you truly believe, you will always want to know what your heavenly father is telling you every day. That means going to study the Bible on your own. Praise the Lord. How can God trust someone? Who after making a confession that Jesus Christ is his Lord. Turns around to serving other gods. 
Remember, whatever anyone prefers over God is a God. One day I hope I'll be able to explicate on this. When faith grows cold, a believer begins to put faith in her abilities or his abilities. And to put faith in the world, you have to believe in something and not on God. He or she begins to make decisions. 